sports programs in the United States and how important they are to our schools and universities. Have any of you seen the TV show Friday Night Lights? No? Oh, gosh, it's really good. Um, and it's about football in a small town in Texas. Very accurate in its depiction of the importance of football in small towns, and all the high school kids like it. In America, the school sports teams have been part of our culture for over 150 years. The earliest sports played by schools were football, predictably, and baseball. But now schools offer many, many sports depending on the region of the country, <clears throat> the size of the school, and the amount of money that's available to the school. My three sons in school play soccer, football, cross-country running, tennis, squash, fencing, lacrosse, rugby, and ultimate frisbee. And their friends, <laughs> their friends play field hockey, wrestling, water polo, swimming, sailing, rowing, hockey, volleyball, basketball, golf, and baseball, all at school. American children are encouraged to take sports up early. You find kids as little as three years old on beginner soccer teams, or five or six years old playing football, lacrosse, or t-ball, which is a beginner version of baseball. I really have great memories of watching my sons play sports when they were small. Um, later in middle school, there's a lot of competition to get on the sports teams in schools. So the students who have been playing these sports since they were three or five have already learned the basics. In America, high school and college sports fill the role that's held by private clubs in other countries. And the competition for the spots on these teams can be tough. Even though the sports are played after school, the practices are outside of school hours. The schools still supervise the programs. The coaches are school employees, and many schools have their own fields, tracks, and courts. In high school, my kids would start school every morning around 8 or 8.15, and they would come home after sports around 6, and much later than that if they were playing a game away from school. So it was a long day. Schools compete against each other, just like in a professional sports league, to advance to regional finals and even state finals and even some sports into a national championship. School sports are important for two reasons. One is our belief that sports builds character. The lessons learned from team and individual competition, teamwork, hard work, fair play, are considered very important for young people to learn. The team spirit is more than just about the sport. It's about the entire school community. Each school has a mascot. In our family, we've had the Landon School Bears, the St. Mark's Lion, and my favorite, the Murray School Fighting Frogs. Students wear the school colors and sometimes paint their faces. We have cheerleaders, marching bands, and cheers. Only one member of our family ever played a varsity sport in high school. Our middle son was really an excellent rugby player. But we all went to all the big games and cheered on the school teams. Many students play sports in high school just for the fun and physical activity. But many are playing with one goal, and that is to get a scholarship to a university or at least a spot on a university team. <clears throat> Schools are heavily scouted by college and even professional coaches looking for the best players. A school scholarship can mean the opportunity to attend college for someone whose family could not otherwise afford it. And it can mean the opportunity to be accepted at a better college than a student would otherwise be able to attend. In many European and Latin American countries, college is free of charge, so there's no generous scholarship for athletes. And many international athletes move to the United States for their higher education and to play their sport. A great example is the Austrian swimmer Marcus Rogan. He's a world record holder and Olympic medalist and he attended Stanford University, which is one of our very top universities, on a swimming scholarship. This year, President Obama, who himself is a very avid basketball player, broadened the scope of the President's Council on Physical Fitness to include a focus on healthy eating and active lifestyles. Our First Lady, Michelle Obama, has started a campaign called Let's Move. It's an initiative that's dedicated to solving the challenge of childhood obesity within a generation. The campaign gives parents helpful information and fosters an environment that supports healthy choices. It works towards providing healthier foods in our schools and ensuring that every family has access to healthy and affordable foods. And it helps kids become more physically active.